waiting for my ship to come in. This was a very challenging piece. I had this grandiose idea in my head that I really wanted to create a big, powerful piece for people to enjoy. And uh, what better way to do it was with the Kraken. So I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. And I thought about it for years until I finally thought I came up with a way. So I created a, a model using coat hangers, paper towel, wrapped with tin foil. And I was able to make the tentacles and bend them the way I wanted to so that we could get the lighting perfect. Lighting was very important for this piece because the shadows had to be correct. And I didn't want to look at this years down the road or have somebody else look at it and say, you know, it's nice, but your shadows just don't seem believable. It's important to show overlapping objects to make the perspective work the way I wanted to. So I placed pencils in my drawings in specific places to force the images either forward or backwards. Like the, the pirate ship, I have a pencil on the backside to make it seem flat and that that part is in the drawing. And then I have a pencil behind the bow of the ship to make it look like that's now a three-dimensional ship pulling off of the paper. Because the whole idea was the Kraken was sinking the ship or pulling the ship off the paper to bring it underneath and, and under the water. Um, another thing that helped that was the mast. Having the mast stick out above the paper made it look, again, much more three-dimensional than anything else I, I could come up with. Subtle things in a drawing are very important. There's a little barrel of uh, rum floating out there, and there's a shark attacking the little guy trying to get off the paper um, after being destroyed by the crack in there. I could not draw this as large as I wanted to because I wasn't sure if I could get the details as precise as I would like them to. Because the bigger you draw, the more details you have to have. So someday, hopefully, I'm going to be a creative piece that's going to be the four foot by six hook that I really like. Um, I hope you like this piece.